What's up, YouTube? This is Bro52, and welcome to my first video in my new area. Actually, no, the first one was the uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's with Caden video. Uh, so uh, it may not look a little bit different to you from your perspective, but for me, I'm in a completely different corner, and it's so much better. Uh, you may get a little bit of a difference in a sound quality. I'm not completely sure, but today we're gonna be tackling inside Jeb Jeb's belly. Speeding through this hex quick, hexa, hexa quick. Right here. Uh, wrong. Oh. Okay, I forget. I'm, I'm getting buttons mixed up. Sorry, guys. Haven't played this in a while. Sorry, I sorry I have so many Five Nights at Freddy's videos out in the woe. A uh, woe. <laughs> sorry, buddy, videos out in the woe. But, uh. I pre recorded a bunch of FNAF, and I was gonna upload them over the course of, like, two weeks, and then I got lazy this week of school. I didn't want to make videos, so I just uploaded all the FNAF ones one by one. Sorry about that. Uh, way too much FNAF at any given moment. But anyway, let's, let's go ahead and beat this dungeon here. This one's quite easy. It's quite intimidating uh, going into it, but in reality, it's very formulatic. Formulamatic. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm lucky. I am lucky. Uh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. My easy targeting glitched out on me. Anyway, here is Princess Rudo. Oh, by the way, I, I remember to put this in the corner now, so you guys can see my items all full. Yeah. You, who are you? I am Rudo, Princess of the Zoras. What are you saying? My father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I've no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I can't go home right now. And you, get out of here, understand? I know, Princess Ruto. I de fell in a hole. I'm gonna say you now. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little, but Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was. But none of your business, anyway. Go, you, go home now, understand? No. You're that worried about me? Then I'll give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until you find the thing I'm looking for. You'd better believe me. Okay. Oh, God. Still, I'm still alive. It's cool. Alright, so we got her. We got Rudo. We're gonna pop these bubbles over there. I missed. Did I get one? I didn't get one. Oh, wait, maybe I got some. No scoop. Or trick shot. Trick shot. Oh, come on. Alright, whatever. Guess that's not gonna happen. So, we gotta throw on the wedge. And then raise the water so we can get up there. But, there, as you can hear right now, there is a skull too low. Yeah, so, oh, we're gonna deal with these guys first. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's too much stuff going on right now. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Okay. Before we actually raise the water level, we have to shoot this gold tool. Aiming! So many bubbles around me! Okay. Anyway. So we got that. Now we raise the water. And get this skull tool. So I'm getting hit left and right. Anyway. So that is gold school tool number 17. Doing good. Uh, there's a fair in a bottle in one of these. Right right there. There you go. You caught a fairy in a bottle. Alright, so we can put the bottle away for now. Um This one. There we go. And we can slash these up, which are just Deku nuts. Or Deku seeds, sorry. Much more useful than actual Deku nuts. Jump! Yeah! 
didn't have to raise the water again. Trick shot! Got her. Technically, I got him. Oop. Oh, I wasn't even aiming for that. Thank you, Rudo. For being a real champ. Dang it, Rudo. Oh. Dang, that's a lot of stuff I just got. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Get back here. Okay. There's a dude here. Gotta kill him. And then we wait for the platform to fall. There it is. Up. Oh. That, that sound is the Deku cellar under that little ledge in front of us. But he's useless, so we're not gonna waste our time on him. Okay. Now we go back into this room, and then we go all the way across into the other room. And all these holes lead to different places, but some of them are just stupid, so we're just gonna go this way, the way we're supposed to go. This dude's gonna fall. He's pretty cool. So, homie. And then we go to this area where we gotta do all these puzzles. Get it? Oh, crap. Okay. Yes, I know the switch, it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone, grub. Really? Well, I have a Ruto that begs to differ. And the fact that, you know, she can sit on it while I'm in here. I was about to say, there's nothing in this room. These guys better drop Deku seeds or I'm gonna have nothing to kill them with. There's so many of them. Rupees, nice, thank you. I'm about to hit 115 rupees, boys. Stop. How many of these are there? I only have so many Deco seeds, you know. Where'd he go? Oh. Okay. Oh, and rupees. 113, come on. It's gotta be the last one. By the way, I believe this is the dungeon map. No clue though. It is a something though. It might be actually the boomerang, which would be very helpful. Boomerang so baby. Hey, we're about to find out very, very soon. It is the boomerang. Radical. Anyway, boomerang is really good. Really good. Okay. Take your notes. There we go. Or right, sorry, take your seeds. And she's not here. We got to go talk to her again, where she was. Cause we're terrible people and stuff. Hey, buddy. What is up? Yes, I know you hate me. Okay, you can only kill these guys with the boomerang. Which is a fun fact. Um, hang on. Getting a call from somebody. Sorry, my mom called me about Boy Scouts, Eagle Projects, and stuff. Anyway, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get my boy over here. Gonna get my boy Compass and Benjamin map already. Straight up fact. Alright, so I gotta put her on this pleasure plate plush plush plate again. Yeah, I just wanna close on us. Mm. Have fun, Rudo. I know you will. Anyway. So you kill this guy with the boomerang. And it opens up a new area, because this is the tail. The other thing's the body. Oh, crap. He lost half a heart. He only lost half a heart. Look at this dude. He was down to three hits, I'm pretty sure. Nah. Relentless. There we go. We did it! This is either the dungeon map or the compass. It's the dungeon map, of course. You gotta get the dungeon map first. Anyway, so that's the dungeon map. 
now she'll be chilling here. How oh, considerate your tongue boosting. And I believe this one, yeah, this one's gone because we killed the tail. The red slimy thing is gone. That must be because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones too? Oh boy, oh boy, we love getting cell phone calls today. Okay, I'm back. Back again. And we can just let her chill in here, but we gotta kill these guys in a limited amount of time, so we're just gonna run it all. Ah, uh, it's a bloodbath! No! Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible what's happening right now. Dying all the time. Oh no, we did it. Here we go. I know. I wonder what the speed run for this game is. People love the speed run Zelda games a lot. I wonder what the speed run time is for Breath of the Wild. That one's got to be insanely fast. Because the game is insanely short. Because you can actually get into Ganon's castle early. Anyway. Let's go, boys. See how we go this way. Let me go cut the other tail. Are you gone? Yeah. Okay. Wait, this is right. This is where I came in. I'm really dumb. It's this one. There we go. And then here's the gray tail? Something like that. There we go. Oh, it's four hits. Got us three. There we go. I always think it's three. Okay, now it doesn't give us anything, but it did open up the new area in the middle. Which we will go to now. Right here. Yeah. And then you got all these guys on the side. Which we can now kill. Which is helpful. And then this one. Uh, this tail, um, takes off a, a, another hole that we can jump down. Can you not, Navi? Can you not? That would be really annoying. The joystick's sensitive for your items, like the excellent asking about things. Anyway. Again, that one doesn't give us anything, but it did open up the new area. Which is what we need to do. Let's go! Yeah! Over here on the right. I believe it's... Frick. It's this one, right? Yeah, it's this one. Alright, we got it. So, obviously, there's two school tools here that we can get. And we can actually get them that we don't have to... You don't need, like, a, an area to be able to, like, crawl on up to get to them. Because the boomerang can actually pick up the um, tokens themselves. Which is really helpful and stuff and things. Back at aim. Look at that. And then we can just see target and go pop. Strategy. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. Gotta kinda get it in the middle of your head. And then. That's 19 now. Pretty sure. I'm gonna try to keep track. Not just memorize. Anyway, here is the mini boss. And there is our sapphire that we need to open the Temple of Time. That's it! That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there onto the platform. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna throw her somewhere else, but there's no rush to throw her. Princess Rito got the spiritual stone, but why Princess Rito? Hey, man. Hey, Navi, women's rights, all right? Princess Rito can get a, uh, a, a gem just as well as Link can. Navi, come on. 
When I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was surprised, surprised I dropped it inside of it, but now that I've found it, I don't need it to be in here anymore. I don't, I don't need to be in here anymore. I don't so take me home, right now. I'm gonna go this way, actually. I'm gonna go behind you. Oh, dang it. <laughs> and then she goes to the heavens, and then she sees an octopus, as you guys can read. And then we gotta fight the octopus. There he is, my boy, Big Octo. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Just one fact, if you, the closer you get to the spikes, the faster you go. So then we can just, like, murder this guy's face. Boop. Ah, he dodged me. Oh, this way. You gotta go opposite to the way the spikes are going. That's how you know which direction he's chasing you from. Uh, I forget my sword. <laughs> this dungeon's gonna be in two parts. I'm just not realizing because we're 18 minutes in. And we're only at like halfway through it. Oh, spikes change of directions. After this mini boss, we'll end the episode. Oh, come on. Bruh. The only damage I've been dealt with is from these spikes, not actually from him. Don't tell me who he is. I know who he is. Okay. He's probably gonna change directions on me. Yep. How did I know? I've lost two and a half hearts from these spikes. Hey, there's a cat in here. I was gonna try to jump attack that time, but I didn't really get an opportunity to. Might go a third time. I might, uh, switch directions a third time. Come on, bruh. Jump attack! Got him. Get wrecked. Yes. And then we hop on this. And we go to the skies. Alright, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. Like your yes, and we'll pick up next time in this dungeon. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun I'm getting back into Zelda. Sorry about all the finance free stuff. But I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.